There have been whispers and leaks about the Galaxy S25 lineup, even before Samsung dropped the Galaxy S24 series. But up until now, none of these rumors came from a reliable source. In other words, we didn't have any solid evidence that these devices actually existed. But that's all changing today. We've got a leak that not only confirms the Galaxy S25 Ultra is real, but also spills the beans on its connectivity features and charging speed. Regular tipster IC Universe shared news about a certification that this flagship Samsung phone got from the Chinese 3C certification body. The China Quality Certification Center has given the green light to a Samsung device with the model number SMS9380. Since the Galaxy S24 Ultra is SMS9280, it's safe to say that the 9380 is probably the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Android phones are finally stepping up to match Apple, which has had emergency SOS satellite connectivity since the iPhone 14. Right now, the only other phones outside of China that support SOS satellite connectivity are the new Google Pixel 9 models. Like Apple's feature, the Pixel 9 can connect to satellites for emergency calls when there's no cell service. This feature is free for the first two years of owning a Pixel 9, but there's a fee after that, similar to Apple's setup. Samsung and Google are tight partners, with all of Samsung's mobile devices running some version of Android. According to the certification, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is labeled as a satellite mobile terminal, which likely means it'll have satellite connectivity like iPhones, letting you reach emergency services even in areas without cell coverage. This would make it the first Samsung smartphone to offer satellite connectivity. There's more to it. The listing shows that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will support 45 watt charging, just like the last three models. But here's the twist. While the earlier versions used 11 volt by 4.05 ampere setup for 45 watt charging, this new model is switching it up to a 15 volt by 3 ampere configuration. We're not sure yet what this change will mean for everyday use, but it's still the same 45 watt charging, which in my opinion is not acceptable from Samsung. So, what do you think about the new satellite connectivity feature in the upcoming Galaxy device? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and for more updates, check out our channel. Catch you all in the next one, and until then, take care.